of all eight AP Calculus students. We're going to be working on section 5.7, which is called Separation of Variables. And your home fun is from your 5.7 packet tonight, numbers 10, 11, and 12. So make sure those are done nicely. Okay, so we're going to teach by example with this one right here. We're going to start off with if dy dx is equal to 2xy and y equals 4 when x equals 0, then y equals what? This is the question. I need y equals. And over here, I'm actually given a derivative, dy dx equals, and it's in terms of x's and y's. So I need to get the dy dx out of there. I need just y as part of my answer. So I need to undo that derivative, which means I need to do an antiderivative, otherwise known as an integral. But what we have to do first, if I try to integrate right now, I'd be all confused. I need to actually separate my variables. And we're going to be consistent. We're going to get our y terms on the left-hand side of the equation. We're going to get our x terms on the right-hand side of the equation. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring this dx up over here onto this side. And we are going to multiply both sides of the equation by dx. You can consider that logical enough for what it is we're doing. Which is nice because now I have my x is paired up over here. Problem is I still have a y, so I need to get this y out of here. So I'm going to do a division on both sides of the equation by y. And then I'm going to make this nice and neat. I'm going to call this 1 over y dy is equal to 2x dx. And now I can integrate this, I can integrate this, so I'm going to integrate each side of the equation individually. So I'm just going to write the integral of 1 over y dy is equal to the integral of 2x dx. And we should all know that the integral of 1 over y dy is the natural log of the absolute value of y. Natural log, absolute value of y. And of course there is a plus c that goes on here. But I'm going to put the plus c on the other side. So we'll just pretend I put it here and subtracted it over. I only like one plus c as I'm working through a problem. And the integral of 2x with respect to x is indeed x squared. And then there's my plus c. Now we're going to solve for c by using the given point. Okay, so use your point. And what point am I talking about? The original problem said y equals 4 when x equals 0. If y equals 4 when x equals 0, then my xy coordinate point will be 0, 4. So I'm going to put x and y into my equation up here and solve for c. So I'm going to use 0, 4 to solve for c. Okay, you can come up here. So now I have natural log of the absolute value of y, put, and my y is going to be up 4 which means my absolute values aren't even necessary because the absolute value of 4 is 4. You'll see those disappear in probably the next step. Equals 0 squared plus c. 0 squared is 0, so c is just the natural log of 4. And now we go ahead and we bring this back into play and we put our c back where it belongs, way over here, and we write natural log of the absolute value of y is equal to x squared plus natural log of 4. And at this point in the game, I'm going to switch into exponential form. This has a base of e right here for your natural logarithm. So I'm going to say e to this exponent is equal to the power of y. So my base is e, my exponent is x squared plus natural log of 4 is equal to y. I'm going to turn this around, and as I turn it around, I'm going to separate it as well. So I see addition going on in my exponent, which means my powers had to have been multiplied with the same base, that base of which would have been an e. So I'm going to separate this and call this e to the x squared times e to the natural log of 4. This is just e to the x squared, but e to the natural log of 4 is 4. So y now equals e to the x squared times 4. And we'll wrap this up and just say y equals, we'll make it neat, 4 e to the x squared. And we are done. Pretty simple process. Now, I want you to think about why you don't have a plus c on the end of this. We don't have a plus c because didn't we solve for c? Wasn't c the natural log of 4? So isn't that C embedded in here? And we're looking for a particular case, all right? We're looking for a particular solution to this differential equation. All right, that's my one example.
Good luck on your